We're keeping an eye on that wet weather just to our south, a front stall down to our south, helping to generate the showers. They so far have not shown a big inclination to move directly into the Baltimore area, but points south of Baltimore may well see some light showers and sprinkles. You can see the radar sweep is uh, dry to the north of Baltimore, kind of wet as you get south of the Bay Bridge across parts of the central eastern shore and then farther south down into southern Maryland tonight. And again, there's a front that's stalled down here, so the closer to that stalled out front you get, the more generous the rain is, along with some showers and thunderstorms uh, down in the Tidewater area, the lower part of the bay. And all of that, as you can see, generally drifting southwest to northeast, but a few stray showers a little uh, displaced from the main activity in our area, so we keep an eye on it. Meantime, as we've been mentioning throughout the show so far, the big storms off to our south need to be monitored. Franklin looks like it'll stay far enough away so we don't have to deal with any precipitation from it, but as Tony mentioned, some rough surf, not only on our Maryland beaches, but along the mid-Atlantic area. And then Florida, of course, keeping a close eye on Adalia, which uh, looks like it's gonna come somewhere near Cedar Key, although you don't really wanna pay too close attention to that centerline track. These are the possibilities here. This cone of possibility stretches from the panhandle, really, down to Tampa. So anywhere in that region, that uh, west coast of Florida is on the high lookout for this storm, which uh, looks like it's going to have winds over 100 miles an hour, major hurricane somewhere on the uh, west coast of Florida later this week. And then it curves off the Carolina coast south of the Outer Banks Thursday morning and uh, out to sea on Friday. There's Ocean City, so right now we are safely north away from the cone of possibility, which does look like it's going to stay down to our south. The system is going to push it away. will actually help to keep our temperatures in check and actually deliver some cooler temperatures as we head toward the end of the week. So a chance for some showers overnight tonight, especially south of Baltimore. High temperatures tomorrow in the mid 80s, which is about normal for this time of year. A cloudy sky. Most of the shower chances staying south of us during the day tomorrow, especially south of the Bay Bridge or some scattered thunderstorms up in the mountains to our north and west. Wednesday temperatures in the 80s with partly cloudy skies here. That continuing risk of a shower down to the south of us across the uh, lower part of the eastern shore and around Ocean City. And then Thursday, look at those temperatures. This is the last day of August and we're talking high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, almost a fall like feel to the air mass uh, toward the end of the week. And it's that push of cooler air again that's going to help to keep Adalia away from us. There's your seven day forecast with temperatures trending downward, 70s and low 80s to finish August and head into September on Friday. Weekend looks OK, but a little bit warmer as we climb into the low 90s early next week.